Welcome to Angel Speaks. In this video, I want to talk about two main, three tips on how to attract healthy people in your life. First thing is, you don't want to give too much of yourself right away. You don't want to give too much information right away. You don't want to share all your weaknesses right away. You don't want to share too much and you don't want to give too much. You give a little and then you wait for them to give a little. You give a little more, wait for them to give a little more. And you give a little bit more. And it should be a, a give and take thing. Um, because usually healthy people, that's how it is. They're going to be giving and they're not going to be too quick. Healthy people are not going to want to rush things. So they're not going to want to rush of giving of themselves and they're not going to want to rush the relationship and they're not going to take too much. They're going to have a, a respect. They're going to have a boundary. There's going to be boundaries. So, <clears throat> you know, don't give too much. Another thing is um, if the other person that you're getting to know is giving too much of themselves, that's a red flag. All right. Because a healthy person is going to be cautious. They're not going to be paranoid, but they're going to be cautious because they're not going to just trust any old person. They're not going to just believe every single thing they hear right away. So they're going to be cautious with things. But if they're given too much, oh, here, here, I'm, I'm such a good person. Here, 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 I have so much to give you. Here, oh my goodness. I want to give you this. And I want to give you all these things to put on top of your head so that when you do something that I don't like, I'm going to say, what? I, I gave you this. I gave you that. I, because someone who gives too much in the beginning, you don't even know the person well, but they're giving you too much. They want to give you. They want to give, give, give. Um, these type of people tend to be manipulators. You know, they they do things because it's how they, how they um, can hold things over you so that you kind of feel like you have to be there. Like you, you got to feel like, you know, well, they did all that for me, so I, I guess it's almost like it's it's a way of keeping you, you know, bound in a way. And so healthy people, they give because they, they have love to give and they want to give. And they're not going to they're not going to put, you know, do things to hold over your head. Someone that that they, they do it like if it's their job to do it. I have to do all this. I did all this for you. They they keep tabs on, on what, you know, they they're like. Okay, I give this person, I did this for them, I did this for them, I did this. So that when, when you do something that they don't like or they you say something that they don't like, they're going to be like, well, I did, talking about, I got this for you, I did this for you, I did this for you, all this stuff I did for you, and that's how you're going to treat me, and that's how you're going to be, you know, usually manipulative people, they'll do that, you know, so that's a red flag when you're giving too much, and they're not even caring if you're giving anything. So that's a sign right there. You're like, hmm, they're doing all that, but I'm only doing this. That's a sign that that it's they're doing it. It's a tool of manipulation. It's a, it's a controlling type of thing. Um, so and the third thing I just want you to um, know is that any type of you always pay attention to how you feel when you're around somebody. If you feel a little nervous, a little uncomfortable. Do you feel like what they said kind of bothered you a little bit? But, you know, did anything they say hurt your feelings at all? Do you feel like you you can't say something because you're scared they're going to get mad? So it's like you're walking on eggshells. All this is big time red flags. Your feelings are not broken. Your gut instincts are not broken. Trust what you feel. Trust that gut instincts that says... I don't know about this. If any time you say, I don't know, that's a sign that that's a no. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned. More to come.